Hello everyone and welcome back to today's tutorial. So today we'll be making a V-shaped top band cap. So first of all, I went ahead to measure the amount of fabric I needed for the width of the fabric, like the place that goes around the head. I needed 15 inches and for the length I needed 18 inches. So I went ahead to mark my 15 inches. That's the width of the fabric i'm folding so it's unfold when it's open it should be 30 inches so 15 inches i'm just marking it all the way down like so and i'll cut it out that way so for the length i what i have is 18 inches so I just like ruled that line, it's also straight, so I had to like make it a square shape. So I had to cut out my 18 inches, like so. So I was going to join more fabric at the down. I wanted the to be to very full, so I was going to join more. So in this area, I went ahead to add fabric to it. So the next thing we're doing is marking the lines. That I'll be using for the pleats of this turban. So I went ahead to mark 1.5 inches lines. So I'm just going to mark 1.5 inches all through the turban. Then I'll connect those lines together, just like I'm doing now. So you just go ahead to mark 1.5 inches lines intervals on every part of this cap we are making. So sorry guys, I hope we can see the lines I'm making because it's not kind of visible at this end. So basically what I'm just doing is just to mark 1.5 inches all through the length of this fabric. So it will give us a guideline of how to sew on the fabric. So I'm just marking 1.5 inches and I'm extending the lines on both sides of the fabric 1.5 inches everywhere so next i'm just going to connect those lines together so guys i was done marking the 1.5 inches on the fabric next i'm just going to show you guys how to sew on it so we'll take the fabric to the sewing machine and fold on that 1.5 inches line we made so just going to fold on it then we'll make a stitch of about 0.2 inches on that line. So I'm just going to show you guys how to go about it on the sewing machine. So I've taken the fabric to my sewing machine. So on that 1.5 inches line, I was going to fold the fabric and place it on my sewing machine. Like so, I'm just going to sew with 0.2 inches just watch what i'm doing guys so i hope you understand what i mean now so we fold on that line we made 1.5 inch then we're just going to sew 0.2 inches it shouldn't be more than 0.2 so we're just going to sew all the way through to the other end cut out the thread and this is what I have on the front part of the fabric this is what the right side of the fabric looks like then this is what the wrong side of the fabric looks like so I'm just going to make an example so to be clear so on this 1.5 inches I'm just going to fold the fabric then place it on our sewing machine then sew on that line with 0.2 inches same so just fold it on that 1.5 inch then you sew with 0.2 inches so I'm just going to sew it 
through to the other end of the fabric. So I was done sewing for the fabric and this is what the wrong side looks like and this is what the right side of the fabric looks like. So I'm just going to sew all through the lines I made. So I was done sewing for the rest. I decided not to join my fabric. I decided to use the 18 inches. So all I have left is 13 inches for the length, then 13 and a half inches for the width. So this is what my the back of the cap looks like. So I went ahead to cut out my band. I cut two pieces because it's a V-shaped band. So I have 14 and a half inches for the length and I have 4 inches for the width. So I'm just going to fold this cap into two and notch the center part. So I'm going to take my band, I'm going to show you guys how to make it a V-shape. So you fold the band into two just like I'm doing here. Then you place it like, like, like V-shape just like how I'm doing, just but guys. So you place it like a V-shape and in the center part, you're going to pin it to the center part of the cap. So maybe you should just watch it over again so you really get it. So I'm just going to pin the center to the center. Then I'll take it over to the sewing machine and sew from the center point down to one end of the band. So I will repeat the same process for the other side. We'll take the band, making sure we sew the under part and also the upper part. Don't leave the under part out. So I'm just going to sew from the center to the other side of the band. So guys, now I'm done fixing the band to the cap. So this is all I have here. So this is my V-shape and on the back of the cap, this is what I have. So I'm just going ahead to trim off the excess fabric at the center. So the next thing we are going to do, I'm just going to fold the fabric into two like so. Then we'll go over to the sewing machine to sew. So for the first time, I'm just going to sew the band and just like how my hand went, I'm just going to sew it all through to the other end of the fabric, like the other end of the cap. So just like so, I'm going to sew it, then sew the band. And bring it over so this is what I was talking about so you measure your head circumference divided by two and because it is stretchy fabric you will minus one from your head circumference so then you sew the rest just like so next you're just going to take your needle and thread and make a running stitch from this end to the other point of the cap so I'm just going to make running stitches. So it shouldn't be new. We've done running stitches on the other video I did. So I'm just going to make that running stitches but to the other end of the cap for the first time. So I'm just going to continue and take it back just to make it stable. So after I was done making my running stitches, I'll turn it over and show you guys what it looks. So 
So guys, this is what the tuban cap looks like. A V-shaped pleated tuban cap. The first time, this is what we have looking all beautiful. So to get the other style of the cap, I'm just going to run, place my running stitches onto this end. We are not going to extend this to the other end. So the running stitches is going to stop at one end of the cap. So once you're done stitching, you just tie your stitch. So once I'm done making the running stitches, I'll go over to the center part of the cap. Then I'll run a stitch through those pleats we have. It's not going to go under. It's just going to go through these pleats we have here. So I'm just, you guys, just watch what I'm doing. I'm just going to place past the needle through those pleats we have. It's not going to show on the top of the cap, just through the pleat. I'm just going to do so till I get to the last pleat we have here. So making sure it's at the center of the cap. So when I've gotten to the last pleat I have there, I'm just going to bring out my needle and kind of arrange the pleat. So they, they meet each other just like so. Then when I'm done, I'm just going to tie my sewing. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is me trying to show you guys how this other step of the cap looks like. So you just fold it and try to arrange it at the sides. So it just falls into place though. So this is what the second style of the turban cap looks like guys. It's so beautiful. You guys should really try it out. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next class. Bye.